Oh, hey. Funny seeing you two here. What can I help with today? There have been developments that we need to let Dr. Fairlight know about. Could you show us to him? Uh, no can do, I'm afraid. Fairlight is speaking at this really important holiday benefit. He'll have my ass for dinner if I interrupt him for anything. And I mean anything. So, is this something I might help with? Fairlight has kept me fairly up to speed on your situation. Well, you could wait for the event to finish, but those usually go until well past midnight. I'm honestly surprised the old man can manage them these days. We don't have that kind of time. Uh, then... Look, most of the old man's work is confidential. You think I just do his laundry? This high up in the tech sector, secrets can earn you millions. But hey, if you don't trust me, that's your law. Come on. Great. I'm happy to listen. We recently discovered that Hayden might have been removed because he was about to interfere with a secret project Parallax is launching. They've developed a networked machine intelligence that they're about to release onto the mesh. We were hoping that Dr. Fairlight could get us a way in so that we can shut it down. I cannot overstate the danger of Parallax having control of this entity. Phew, you weren't kidding, were you? The comment from that kind of thing would be a scummy marketer's wet dream. Not to mention all the possible applications to the CIA. So now will you call Dr. Fairlight? Actually, it goes a bit above and beyond that. I don't think I can tell Yannick about this. Why not? Look, you know, and I know, that the old man's itching to get back at the helm of Parallax. He plays a good game of ceremonial ribbon cutting, but he's been sniffing around for a way to get back at the board ever since he was outed. Thankfully, this could play right into his hands, but he's gotta have plausible deniability. If there's even a whiff that he orchestrated this, he'll be done for. It's a win-win for all of us, right? This is all very clandestine. What do you suggest? Yannick pays me so that when shit hits the fan, I can take care of it without him even hearing about it. Usually it's errands, but stuff like this also falls in the job description. My military training should be more than enough to get us into the server mainframe without inside info. And once we're in, we can just clean this mess right up. Uh, while making another. <laughs> oh, well, that's just PG. All right, storm the castle without me. You clearly already know how to safely scope a battlefield. How to avoid detection by enemies. How and when to escalate to combat. You know, and everything else. But just in case there's something you don't know, it might be smart to bring me along. Look, I did this for a living. I'm an expert. A professional. You're too green to be that confident about going in alone. You've made your point, Mr. Decker. Hmm, all right. We'll accept your help, Mr. Decker. Great. I knew you'd come around. We do this right and make that launch crash tomorrow? And Yannick will be able to buy out enough shares to get a seat back on the board. You can meet us at the entrance to the storm drains just south of the main parallax complex. We'll make our entry from there. 
I can work with that. Just give me a bit to pick up my gear. Don't you worry. Uh, this'll all be over soon. Well, that's the last of the people I think we can recruit. Any more would be unwieldy if we have a nice round set of skills to utilize. Let's head to Parallax now. I'll message Detective Rivers, and we can wait for Mr. Decker to catch up to us there. Tomcats should be done with their programming soon, and then we can head in. Is that everything? I hope so. We get one shot here. Ready? Detective Rivers, I see you've beaten us here. Wanted to get the lay of the land before anybody else showed up. When are we ready to head in? We're waiting for one other person, and then I need to get our distraction going. Speak of the devil. <laughs> ah, Mr. Decker, precisely. Detective Rivers, allow me to introduce you to... I know who he is. Leon Decker, ex-Marine, served in North Korea. Record heavily redacted. And working for Yannick Fairlight, who I'm sure is willing to help us out of the kindness of his heart, yeah? You have me at a disadvantage, miss. Though, let's drop the pretenses, hmm? I've never made a secret of Yannick's goals here. He needs Parallax melted down a little for him to get his chair back, and they need to stop some dangerous software. Ha! <laughs> and I'm sure that's all your cards laid out on the table, huh? We're all on the same side. Simple as that. You sure you want to work with this guy, Turing? I don't like the look of him. You've got good eyes, Detective. They're new. Yes, Detective Rivers, I believe Mr. Decker will prove invaluable on this mission. Statistically, we're an entire 17% more likely to succeed with his expertise. Fine, we'll play it your way. Great. What's the plan, little guy? Tomcat and I have been unable to find the precise schematics of these storm drains, as they underwent some modifications when Parallax began construction here. But the city's primary power and communication lines still run parallel along them, for maintenance purposes. The server center is certain to be set adjacent to the tunnel complex to allow easier connection. If we make our way through the drains, we should be able to exit at least close to the new server building. That will get us past the worst of the exterior alarms and defenses of the complex. They don't have security alarms in the storm drains? Well, they probably do, but it's unlikely they're in good repair. The water level rises frequently, and maintenance is usually only handled during the dry season in the middle of summer. The moving water should give an enormous amount of false positives. We'll have to move quickly, since the rains upstream will cause erratic surges in the water levels. What about this server building? Do we have plans for it? Any info on the guard rotations? Construction on that finished only last year. It's state-of-the-art and currently services the primary ROM control and distribution network. Based on what we've learned, I'm assuming it was built primarily to give Big Blue enough power to sift through all of the data on the network. That's the AI, right? Right. The 
entire facility is automated. Security, maintenance, even new construction, all run by ROMs. There might be a single human engineer on site to take care of anything the ROMs can't figure out, but we shouldn't have to worry about any intervention. At least, not immediately. I think we can handle some robots, assuming Leon is as good of a shot as the blank marks in his file suggest. Let's hope we don't have to find out, ma'am. Once we make our way to the primary server control core, I can link myself into the network and Tomcat can work their magic. That's all we have to do. <laughs> That's an awful lot of question marks before the profit. But we'll figure it out. Anything you'd like to add? That's what the stunners are for. They'll do bad things to a ROM, but it'll only discombobulate a human. Discombobulate? Trust me, I doubt anyone's died from a good discombobulation. <laughs> Not humans, at least. I'll buy us some time, one way or another. At the very least, we should be able to bluff our way out with my badge. There'll be hell to pay later, but we'll make it out with our hides intact. You can just pretend I'm the bad guy and slap some cuffs on me. Yannick can get me out of holding if I need it. A sound plan, Mr. Decker. Yeah, I won't have to pretend much for that. If worst comes to worst, Tomcat should be able to damage the servers in some way. We won't be able to stop Parallax completely, but it should slow them down. It might even buy us some time to escape, since they'll be too busy trying to keep the racks from melting down. Excellent. Let me call Oliver and put our distraction in motion. After that, I'll call Jess. Turing, we're in position. Are you ready? Tell him I'm sick of standing around staring at these losers' faces. Shut up, Chad. I can't hear the phone. We're ready when you are, Oliver. Go ahead and let Chad do his thing. Okay, we'll try to buy you as much time as we can. Chad, we're on. Hell yes! You ready to do this? Let's bust some skulls! Sorry! He gets overexcited sometimes! Come get some! Ah! Someone just hit me with a bottle! Oops! Gotta go! Wow! Did you see the arm on that fox girl? So awesome! Uh, okay. Hello, Jess. Holy shit. Did the robot really just call me? How did you even get my personal line? Uh... You know what? Never mind. One more thing to have my tech guy handle. After these CTV cameras, I'll mysteriously lose connection to the mesh. Jess, we're calling to... I know why you're calling. Sorry, I really can't talk right now. I'm in the middle of inciting a riot and putting my friends in danger. Let's get this going, people. Go show those revolution scum who the real future of humanity is. Good to hear you have things in hand. Oh yeah, all under control. Pass on my love. In case I didn't say it before, I, I believe in you. Prick. Hey, Claire! See if you can nail that blue mohawk to 